Now, of course, uh, Miss Diversity higher over at the White House, well, she's kind of dropped uh, her boss right in it. Where, well, I think we all kind of guessed that the only reason we got the press conference the other day after that D DOJ report came out, and by the way, can I just say, we, we played part of it on, on our show, your dissection of the lies he told in that press conference uh, was amazing, right? I posted on our socials, everyone's got to go and see it, because it's not just you know, the, the, the mistruths that were in there, but basically you were able to say, see, he said this, well, this is what the report actually said. It's a masterful way of doing things and you're, you're the best at it, right? But obviously, the only reason we got that press conference is because Biden still thinks Biden's got it, right? So Biden thinks he's still the guy who everyone's in love with because he owns a pair of aviators and fake teeth. Like, he's a used car salesman from a generation <laughs> way gone. Um, he's, he's a boxer that's way past it, yet still, I mean, remember, we had had the fight between the, the TV doctor and uh, a guy who had a stroke, and the stroke won in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So even if this bloke is as addled as he is, Democrats will still all get in behind him. But surprise, surprise, Joe decided to put Joe's foot in it. My memory is so bad I let you speak. The hostage negotiation, look. Concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your judgment. That police. is not the Express judgment concerns. of the press. They, how can I say this without revealing it? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. And now he comes out and says, oh, the special counsel's all wrong, and this is totally inappropriate of him to put the mean, mean things in there about me being a well-meaning el elderly man with a poor memory who's, you know, got other frailties that a jury might find too sympathetic to convict on any crime, therefore we can't bring charges against him. Um, as he's trying to defend against all that and saying, trust me, trust me, I'm super smart, he of course makes several mistakes, including in that, pro he lied in that press conference and then made mistakes calling the president of Egypt, the president of Mexico and so on. And now the whole spin meisters around him, you know, all over the media this past weekend and the, the early this week have been saying, inappropriate, this is a partisan hack. This guy, they never said, they never objected to Robert Herr before, the, the special counsel, saying, hey, he's he's too partisan, he's a registered Republican, we can't have that. Well, why is that okay? Because the guy prosecuting Trump is a registered Democrat, Jack Smith, they, they don't seem to think party registration is a deal breaker, only when it's a Republican going after a Dem. And what in the report says he is partisan? Any prosecutor would have to explain to the attorney general, this is why I don't think it's appropriate to bring charges. No jury's gonna convict this guy. Should he not say that? Should he say we've got the grounds for the charges, so we must file them and completely ignore what everyone can see, which is that he's too elderly to convict. He's too sympathetic, most likely, to a jury that's not going to believe he could remember all these documents. He should have just kept that to himself, not told his boss, really, Attorney General Merrick Garland, that he had noticed all these significant memory failings. I mean, that's it's absurd. So what do they do with Joe Biden? They, they put him out there to try to disabuse us of the notion that he's too old. That failed. Then they put out these videos of him trying to like be a man of the people. They're mm. all pre-taped, scripted. He looks stilted and elderly still, so that doesn't work. So then somebody asked the White House, KJP, the diversity hire, which she admits, um, how about a cog cognitive test? Like, could, would he take the thing that Trump took? Because his annual physical's coming up, and last year he didn't take one. And she said, no, she dodged. She didn't say yes, and she just kind of said, well, it is what it is. You know, the doctor's going to do kind of what he did, which means no. And then they followed up. Same thing. Got out of bounds. It's a dodge. So it's a no. So if he's all there and he's so great, why can't A, we see a cognitive test and B, can't he sit down with somebody like me or any aggressive interviewer who would give him a tough time, but a fair time to see how he does. He wouldn't even do the Super Bowl halftime interview with Gail King, which would have been not football, but softball, one after another. <laughs> and he wasn't willing to do it. So if he's so great, let us see. If we're not supposed to believe our eyes and our ears and, and this report by the special counsel, put him out there. They won't. And there's a reason. Now, there's one other thing that, you know, and, and again, you know, we, we went through the detail where... Um, so many similarities to the Trump situation. I know that the great divergence is about whether as soon as things were discovered, they were handed over or all of this garbage, right? But there's one bit that I did want to talk about with you, which is the, the, the bit that I'm surprised that somebody has not been charged is the ghostwriter. 
right? So remember, CNN had the tapes of, of documents being uh, uh, handed around by Trump, and this is one of the big things that Waved. we played to a Not jury, handed. right? Waved. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? So, 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 so no, no question. But in this, we know that the, exactly the same thing happened with the guy who was writing Biden's book, but the tapes were erased. But also... The special counsel, doesn't the special counsel say the tapes were erased when they learnt an investigation had begun? So it wasn't like, oh, yes. look, that was five years ago, the book was done and I just deleted everything. How is that not a crime? No, so there's, that's a key distinction you're pointing out. Trump is being tried right now. He's being accused of breaking the law, among other reasons, because he had a classified document relating to military plans and was waving it around in front of a group of people saying, here it is, this is the plan that General Mark Milley gave to me. I've got it right here, but he didn't show, he's not accused of showing it. Joe Biden is accused of having it, having it inappropriately by any measure because he was never president. He was never able to declassify things as Trump was. And so he would have known this is inappropriate for me to have. And we know he knew because he said to the ghostwriter, oh, this is classified. Let me read it to you. <laughs> you can't see it. But I'm going to read it to you, which doesn't save you. And read it aloud, knowing that this guy wasn't supposed to have access to it. And then once he understood that the investigation had started with the special counsel, the guy deleted the tapes. The only reason he's not facing charges himself, I believe, is because there are still written transcripts of what happened on those tapes, supposedly, that we can trust. So I suppose that's why he didn't wind up like a Walt Nachua. That was Trump's bag man who helped him with all the documents. Uh, but yeah, the, the, it stinks to high heaven. And frankly, Joe Biden's behavior with respect to his documents was as bad as Trump's up until the point where the feds got involved and insisted on the return of the documents. Biden forked his over and Trump didn't. Yeah, I, I just think there's there's plenty of stench. And if you haven't, go back and see Megan's breakdown of this, which uh, was Friday Australian time. Megan, so good to talk to you. Let's do it again next week. The pleasure's mine. See you soon.